COVID-19 cases are keeping the doors closed at some child care centers. Since March, the state says nearly 3,100 positive cases of COVID-19 have been reported at child care centers across Texas. The vast majority are staff, but more than 1,000 who got the virus are children. It's one of the reasons many of those centers have not reopened, and our investigator Arzo Dost found advocacy groups say some of those centers will never open again. And this has been a classroom that's been empty. No kids, no lessons, no playing. We miss our kids. Main Spring Schools in South Central Austin has been closed since March. And we hope to open again um, soon, but it really depends on the community and how the public health situation looks. The state says nearly 4,800 child care centers, that's about 28% of all facilities in Texas, have closed between February and now and have never reopened. It's a crisis for our state and for our community because access to child care is essential infrastructure for our economy. Kathy McCorse is part of the Austin Travis County COVID-19 Child Care Task Force. She's hearing about low enrollment concerns and higher costs dealing with safety measures like cleaning and sanitizing. The, the cost of providing care safely under COVID conditions is adding costs of to about $300 to $900 per month per child. And that's not sustainable. If they were able to get more funding relief, could you see more opening up? I believe many are, are just looking at their budgets and saying, I, I can't afford to open under these conditions. Main Spring Schools, which serves low-income families, did get a federal loan for $230,000. This is a table full of clothes. Jason Gindel says they used the money to pay for 30 employees, mostly teachers for two months, along with rent and utilities. The nonprofit is fundraising and dipping into savings to help families of students in need. We've begun to box up food, um, diapers. Gindel says, but now it needs a lifeline to survive during this pandemic. I mean, there comes a point where we run out of money and um, we won't be able to continue to pay our teachers. Arzo Dost for State of Texas. Advocacy groups have also been pushing the state to release more information about positive cases at child care centers across Texas. They say that information could help parents make important decisions about sending their child to school or not this fall.